On a thousand mile cross country trip to North Carolina, somehow we ended up here. Talladega National Forest in Alabama. This is how it started. I don't know about your family, but for mine, there's something about starting a trip at dusk. You know, you get to avoid all the multiple stops. You get to leverage the kids being asleep. You get to cut back on everybody stopping to eat out. Ah, oh, and so much more. And then the drive is just much more peaceful. You watch the sunset, you really get a chance to get to it. And this trip was no different. You know, it had its highs, had its lows, but all in all, it was enjoyable. Until my windshield got cracked, I made it from Texas to Mississippi to Alabama and all the way up until Georgia, and I cracked my windshield. But the views were nice, so you know, I didn't let it bring me down. I just kept moving. Plus, I got insurance. It's not often that I get to go back to North Carolina, so when I do, I try to make the most out of it. See family, see friends, people I haven't seen in a long time, and overall enjoy myself. But North Carolina was just the tip of the iceberg. The real adventure was in Alabama, Talladega National Forest. While Texas is mostly flatland, the winding roads, the rolling hills, and the ever-changing elevation in Alabama is a sight to behold. The ride to Talladega National Forest is such a good precursor to the fun that you'll have on the actual trail. On the way up, the family and I did pull over, make a couple of stops, check out the scenery, enjoy the environment, and just really get a feel for the area that we were in. There are a number of overlooks on your way up to Talladega National Forest, so if you have the opportunity to journey out to this park, pull over to the side, take the time, and really take in these views because you wouldn't want to miss them. After a ton of fun, rainy driving, we finally made it to the Talladega National Forest Scenic Highway, which is the trail that we rode on. And as you can see, the road transitions from a paved road to this uh, gravel road that you see here. With the roads being so uh, wet and me having a pretty much stock truck with street tires, I was a little bit nervous going onto this trail, um, just it being kind of muddy and a gravel road. Um, I didn't know if my truck was gonna be able to stand up to this trail. But as you'll see, uh, this trail wasn't too difficult. It was a pretty um, straightforward trail, pretty easy, um, all gravel, no really hard. Uh, rocks to climb or anything like that. So your stock vehicle will be able to make it through this. This will not take away from the enjoyability of the trail because the trail is very calm, uh, very peaceful. Uh, the views are amazing. And I think you'll overall enjoy this trail. For the adventurous few, uh, there are some offshoots um, off of this trail that do have a little bit more difficulty, um, give you a little bit of a challenge. I did not take these uh, different routes. But if you'd like to try them, just know that they are available. They're not always open, so you'll have to check and see uh, when they are open.
all in all, Talladega National Forest Scenic Highway was a very good trail for us. Um, it being one of our first trails, uh, we may not have a lot to go off of, but we did enjoy it, um, and we're kind of sad to leave. But we'll definitely be checking it out in the future and giving you guys some more insight on the different trails that we visit coming up. So stay tuned, and we'll catch you on the next one.